the new Porsche Boxster has been out at dealerships in its latest version since February of 2009. For many Porsche fans, it's a new model, which it really is, based on all the new features and improvements. To be more precise, though, it's the consistent evolution of the Porsche mid-engine DNA around since the first model generation. With this firm foundation, the Boxster, especially the S version, is also perfect as an extreme sports car. And there's a good reason for this. Regardless of whether Porsche number one, the 356, the legendary James Dean Porsche 550 Spider, or the 718 RSK, all these legendary race cars from Porsche have been developed along the superior principles of weight, driving behavior, and traction. This has always been the guarantee for victory at Le Mans, in Daytona, Sebring, and at the Nürburgring. And this experience has gone into the making of the new Boxster. Let's take a closer look. The Porsche number no. one model was an open top car, had two seats, was a purist, meaning it was light, totally different from its rivals at the time. It was built to be fast and successful. What that meant? A low crouching silhouette, a short cockpit nearly in the middle of the car, fenders sweeping towards the back and a rounded yet squared off tail section. Success was not long in coming and in 1949 Porsche started factory production. The evolution of this basic idea, this Porsche DNA, was the 550 Spider. The outer skin was tightened around the tubular frame, the wheels seemed larger, the shapes muscular. This car heralded the era of dominance for mid-engine vehicles at racetracks. The wheelbase remained real short. The first generation Boxster applies this motorsport experience and is still based on the original model. In creating the car, the question was raised whether its racing attributes could be carried over into the production model. This first study from 1993 gives us the initial answer. The wheelbase, the relationship between the front hood link to the windshield, the fenders and the tail end are consciously déjà vu. These shapes and proportions were not only found on the Boxster, the first and second generation, but were also used consistently in high-performance vehicles as evidenced by the Le Mans Porsche derivative, the Carrera GT. This diagram also reflects the drama of the gentle shapes and the DNA of the original styling. Even if the mighty 10-cylinder forced the placement of the wheels further towards the back, the flat engine also leads to an even flatter silhouette. 